what's up YouTube how's everybody out there doing today so I was trying to think of something a little different to make uh, video wise for YouTube and I decided to pose the question on other social media outlets my snapchat and my uh, Instagram which uh, you can find those down in the description um, what kind of video I should make and if you guys might be interested in possibly get out of here bug get out of here possibly be interested in seeing a little I don't know half-assed review about this rifle sitting here so a lot of guys came back and they were like yeah definitely do it we want you to do it we want you to do it we want you to so I figure that's what I'll do for you guys I'll give you that review so let's get started now obviously since we have all these gun nuts out there and safety is obviously a priority just want to make sure you guys understand this is a non loaded magazine the bolt is back she does not have one in the chamber at all she is totally clear so now that that's all done because obviously I don't want people freaking out like oh my god is there ammo in that gun is he gonna pull the trigger by accident and kill somebody no I'm not because I'm fucking smart and I've got common goddamn sense that's why now you know don't mind the ammunition a beautiful k-bar sitting here mini k-bar by chance and it's really awesome badass mask I'm just putting it out there for aesthetics to make things kind of look pretty that way you're not just looking at a rifle you're actually you know seeing some other stuff going on here which is pretty cool all right moving on obviously what we have here is a brand new Ruger precision rifle and you guessed it not 308 because I don't like 308 we got this guy in good old 6.5 Creedmoor I did not buy it with the scope I did not buy it with the bipod I had to buy these two items separately and we'll talk about them in a little bit but we're gonna talk mostly about the the rifle right now it is key modded and I love key mod a lot better than I do like M lock not a big fan of M lock not a you know I've had M lock rails before on my ARs and I never really liked them very much uh, the key mod rail, in my opinion, is just so much more user friendly. Look at that barrel, guys. Check that fucking thing out. Look how gigantically big that is. That's what she said. That is a heavy freaking barrel. There is nothing light about that thing. It's crazy just what Ruger has done with this freaking... Just, I, just, I don't even know how thick it is, but it's it's got to be pretty thick. Don't take that the wrong way, ladies, all right? This down here is a beautiful billet aluminum T6 lower housing with the Ruger insignia on it. Very, very nice. Um, it does have, and I'll show you on the other side as well, but it does have a 45 degree safety. It is not a 90. And personally, I actually have a 45 degree uh, safety on my AR, my custom built AR, and I love it. Uh, just because of the shorter throw, you don't have to go 100% 90, you can just go 45. It just makes it quicker to, to take it out of safety and, uh, and and be able to fire the the rifle properly in my eyes I just I'm a personal big fan of the 45 degree safety as opposed to the 90 degree safeties we have a very nice I guess it would be a copy of a savage uh, accu trigger on here I don't know how exactly it works compared to a savage I'm sure it's gonna be different obviously because they don't obviously you know want to you know copy savages because of patenting and everything but um it adjusts between two and a half pounds to five pounds there's a allen key back here in the rifle itself that then will adjust the trigger up inside of the uh, magwell here let's look at the other side of the rifle which pretty much looks exactly the same except it doesn't have a bolt on this side which i guess is a good thing but as you can see here is your safety on this side it is uh just a 45 and that's pretty much what 45 means it only travels 45 degrees as opposed to a uh, AR-15 with a 90 degree that'll go all the way completely down like that uh, and like I said before I really like the 45 degree angle now I will tell you one thing that I really really love about this rifle you would think man that's a long rifle where are you gonna put that thing well you press this little button here and look at that shit and that's something and that's something that's freaking crazy right there I love the fact that, that stock folds which then shortens the rifle enough that you can put it into a nice little rifle bag the best part about it 
is you can actually lock this stock. So this stock right now is free, okay? So you can move it around, you can open it, shut it, and when you open it, it does, uh, it does lock on its own. But if you take this guy right there and you flip her down like that, guess what? She's now locked in place. That stock is not going anywhere. The other little thing I'd like to point out on this rifle is, as you can see, that bolt will not come out. You think it would, but it doesn't. There's a little push button right here. You gotta push that guy in. Push that guy in, like so, and that bolt will be released, basically. So you have one of these, you basically wanna push that in, and then your bolt comes out of the rifle, like so. Now on the front here, I basically just have your regular standard bipod on a Picantera rail. Now this Picantera rail does come with the rifle. The rifle does come with two magazines as well. Two 10 round magazines, not just one like you see right here. But this is just your regular bipod, nothing you know crazy about it, nothing special, just a you know, regular bipod. Uh, you can pick these things up pretty much anywhere. You can also pick them up online. And these arms here as well, We'll go ahead and extend out as well. I think like 12 inches or something total length, maybe a little bit more. But uh, they are spring loaded. So uh, these can flip up and out of your way if you want to use a, a shooting stick or something of that nature. Uh, if not, then you have this guy to use here as well. As for the scope on this bad boy, as you guys can see, it is a Vortex Viper scope. It is a model HS. It is a 6 24 by 50. The scope is not normally this long. I do have the sunshade on the front, which is, takes up that much real estate on the front. We do have turret adjustments on the top and on the side for windage and elevation. And then if you look on the other side, we have our 50, 60, 75, 100, 150, 200, 300, 500, and infinity, a quick adjustment for our elevation. Pretty basic review. I've shot this thing probably about, I don't know, maybe, 20 rounds through it, maybe third, maybe 20 rounds through this rifle so far, dialing in the scope, which incidentally did not happen. But um, I had a lot of fun shooting it. It was shooting very, very, very tight groups for what it was. Um, I'm extremely happy with it. Now that that little review's done, basically my my shoddy review of this rifle, because uh, I don't know a lot about guns, but I know enough to get me by. Uh, there is a few little things I do want to add to this video, and that is a little bit of a mail time. Uh, I went to my P.O. box today, and there's two items in my P.O. box which I was very happy about, and uh, I definitely wanted to share the one. I want to share both of them with you, but there's one that I really, really do want to share with you, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try to make a video today of something for you guys. And I figured a nice gun review and some mail time at the end would be the perfect thing for you guys to have, so let's go take a look at that too now. All right, guys. Here's some mail time for you. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is Up Photography. He ended up sending me some really, really cool pictures. I really like that one there a lot. Uh, his name is Andrew Campbell. And I guess that's his vehicle, I'm assuming. Nice little picture of a bridge, skyline. And here's his letter. It says, Dear Andy, you spelled Andy wrong. You're supposed to spell it with an E, not a Y, but that's okay, I'll let it fly this time. I watched your video where you said you were quitting. I wasn't really quitting. I was just clickbaiting Mike and Nick, and it worked. I'll put that video right up above here for you guys. I want to I want to not believe you, but you seem really genuine. So I thought I'd give you a solution. You you're always you're always being Mike's videos, and people will always call you problem, right? Well, a get a secretary. You'll be more free for car stuff and not the phones. Or B on your website, have them go through a questionnaire for them to get called back, i.e. your car information, name, number, that should weed out some kids wanting to just call you. Maybe pick half days out of the month to say, hey, I'll take fan calls and your fans will understand, and I really hope this helps. I understand your frustration. I'll, I'll throw in my business cards, but don't fucking call me. <laughs> just kidding. In closing, your YouTube fame will help your business, and here is a way to fix the 400 plus calls you get. Your friend, Andrew Campbell. Well, thank you very much, Andrew, for the sound advice. Uh, luckily, the calls have definitely died down and they have stopped, which I'm very happy about. So I'm actually getting back to having some more of my actual business calls be able to come through. But if you guys want to contact uh, Andrew Campbell about any photography, he is a veteran as well. 
Uh, here's some cards. I'll put his information above and down below so you guys can go check him out. Please don't call him. I know his number's on here, but please don't call him unless uh, you actually have a true reason to have your uh, cars taken pictures of or maybe some photography done by him personally. Uh, but that is the first little mail time thing that I wanted to show you guys, and let's move on to the second one. The second letter, and there's something on the back of this paper that I'll show you guys then, and he also sent me a t-shirt, which I'll show you as well. Uh, comes from a guy named Andy. He is a Marine in a U.S. Embassy out in Moscow, which is freaking badass. And he writes, I work at the U.S. Embassy here in Moscow. Being a Marine, I thought you would appreciate this shirt, and I'll show you the shirt in a minute. I really enjoy your videos and want to reassure you I'm not watching them during working hours. Awesome. Keep up the good content as it's a nice break from worrying about Russia shipping our asses out of here. <laughs> Take care. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you aren't quitting YouTube. And uh, from the motherland, Andy. I'm not sure exactly how to spell your last name, but uh, he actually has a nice little uh, U.S. Embassy uh, stamp from Moscow there, which is pretty cool. So the first thing I'll show you that he sent me was a uh, taped on the back. <laughs> it says, "It's only one dollar. Spend it wisely." Uh, this guy sent me a. One dollar Russian, I don't even know what they call this, but it's a one dollar Russian dollar thingy uh, front and back here, which is pretty wild. I do like foreign money. I, I think foreign money is pretty cool because you kind of get sick of seeing American money every now and again. It's always nice to see what other countries are doing with their uh, currency. So I've never had anybody send me any money before, you know, which is great. I mean, you guys can send me money if you want. I'm not going to argue. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's the first thing he sent me. But he sent me this t-shirt. I don't know what this says. Maybe I'll ask Max because Max is Russian and I guess he can read this. But it says MSG Detachment Moscow, Russia. In God we trust, all others are checked at the door. Fuck yeah. And then we'll look at the front here. And the front, as you guys can see, Marine Security Guard Detachment, American Embassy, Moscow, uh, Russia. That is pretty cool. Um, I will say for future reference, guys, and I do love the shirt. I do. Um, I don't take an extra large, though. I think Mike has had this problem where people have sent him the wrong size shirt on a constant basis. He wears like a medium instead of a large. I actually wear a large instead of an extra large. I'm not that fat, guys. I might look it in the videos, but I'm not that fat. Trust me. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my little shoddy review of my rifle and stuff. Uh, we do have a big plan for this rifle. Um, I can't tell you what it is, but uh, hopefully by next weekend we'll be actually breaking the rifle out. And uh, we're going to be shooting it. And I am going to make a video of, uh, of shooting this rifle. Um, so it's going to be pretty awesome. You guys are not going to want to miss out on it. Hopefully everything works out as planned. And we can do what we need to do to uh, make you guys a very good video of that rifle. Um, other than that, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming, as I just stated. Instagram, Diablo yeah, Performer Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Performer Racing. If you guys want to send me any mail or anything of that nature, check out my description. There's a whole bunch of information there, including my P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box 303, Leola, Pennsylvania, 17540, guys. Deuces.